Hi friends, Lorelai here again from Blade and & Broom, and this week we are again talking about covens um, and solitary work and um, mentorship. No, we're not. We're just talking about covens this time. Um, and specifically, um, I wanted to look at an interesting um, expression of a folkloric piece that plays out um, in modern coven leadership. So, um, specifically in the titles of the coven leaders. So this is something that very much gets drawn from the folklore. Um, and I don't think always intentionally, maybe now, maybe now intentionally it does, but, um, but I don't think in the past that it always did. I think it was just something that was, um, an egregore or something that was deep within the group unconscious or subconscious and that it rose to the surface and that now those of us with a folkloric interest um, can look at it and go oh yeah well we're gonna consciously use those names and so specifically this has to do with the names that the two primary leaders within a traditional coven or a folkloric coven are most likely to be called. There are other names that they can be called, but you're going to see these a lot. Um, and maybe your group doesn't have both leaders. Maybe it just has one or the other. Um, but again, I think you'll see a trend here. So let's get into that. Some of you who have dived into traditional craft and folkloric craft specifically already um, know these parallels, but others who are just getting started with it are probably going to find this really interesting. Traditional terms for the male and female leaders um, of traditional craft covens tend to be um, names like for, for the feminine leader, it tends to be something like maid or dame or queen. And then for the masculine leader, it tends to be something like devil or magister or robin. We see this in the trial records of Dame Alice Keitler, who actually held the title of dame um, she was a resident of Kilkenny in Ireland and she was one of she was actually the first person to be tried and convicted of witchcraft in Ireland and um, her uh, her servant and her coven sister Petronella de Meth was the first person to be hanged as a witch there Dame Alice actually escaped and wasn't heard from after that, um, like ever again. Um, so there's some speculation about what might have happened to her, um, but the um, her familiar, her tutelary spirit was known as Robin Artisan, Robin Son of Art. So there we have that Dame Alice and Robin and then the Coven. And there were several members um, there in that town that were named as practitioners of the arts. So there we have that set up. So we see it again though in a few different places where we have the, the, the dame maid queen um, set up with devil, magister, or robin. So I'm going to give you another example. One that you may find surprising, but I would ask you to like just gently poke at it and see how it feels from a mythopoetic standpoint is Maid Marian, Robin Hood, and the Merry Men. In this setup we have again the male and female leaders of the group and the rest of the group being all a single gender, which is not uncommon throughout um, some of the orders of traditional witchcraft throughout the Middle Ages. 
it's not the only way that it happens, but, but if you look, for instance, at the Order of the Garter, there is some speculation that it may also be pointing in the direction of the same idea and that the garter itself may be um, the witch's garter. I'll put a card up here for anyone who wants to look into an article I wrote some time ago about that. So Robin, um, Robin is a name that comes up a lot in English folklore for our witch father. Um, so Robin Goodfellow, um, Robin Goodfellow is a really fun one, um, ends up being, um, being used a lot. And we see it again in Shakespeare. Shakespeare really liked characters like this. So Robin Goodfellow, for instance, um, we even see him in Midsummer Night's Dream and he gets called both Robin Goodfellow and Puck. And Puck we know as Puka, also as Buka, um, who is of course this sort of like goat horned um, spirit of the Greenwood. Um, yeah, we know that guy, right? Contemporarily, um, the maid of the clan of Tubal Cain is well known to be Shani Oates, and then the magister is Robin the Dart. So again, we see the maid and Robin coming up again. These are very, very established names. All right, that's what I have for you on this piece. I hope that you found that interesting and informative. Um, I am certainly fascinated by these things, which is why when I was rec recording the original um, bit on coven work <laughs> and solitaries and mentors, it ended up being over an hour of footage and I was like, I cannot put this out on YouTube. So I hope you find it as interesting as I do. Um, share your comments and your feedback. I would really like to hear from you guys. Um, like, subscribe, share, do all those things, but also go out into the world and do your craft. Do all those things too. And I will see you guys back here next Monday at noon. Bye guys.